Hey, welcome back to the workshop. So I've got the door uh, fabric on and the trim back on, which I'll show you in a second. But what we're working on right now is putting the um, the roll up window uh, glass whiskers or whatever they call these things back on. Uh, originally, they were stapled, uh, as in like they used a big stapler that that went through the metal and straight through this metal and just really held it on there. So obviously I can't do that. So I read online in some forums, people said they use um, wire and I'm assuming they made themselves little staples and then uh, pulled the ends over. So that's what I did. Um, I have this wire lying around. I think it's just like picture hanging wire. You know, it's fairly thick, um, bends easy, cuts easy. And uh, I basically went and you can see some of the holes here. I went and pre pre popped the holes from the other side so I could line everything up. Just went down along, found all the old staple holes, punched them through. And then what I did was I took a piece of wire. I bent it with needle nose pliers. And then I came and like kind of eyeballed it to the holes and then bent the other side to make it fit. Um, you know, this is the second door. I did the passenger side door first and that came out pretty good. And now that I've done it a bunch of times, I'm really good at bending these things now that I'm done. Uh, but I created them and then I pre load them in the trim piece that's going on. And then I just have to locate it onto the door, push it through. And then I twist these over. So I like, I grab it with the pliers, right? And I kind of do one of these, I, I, I roll it to the side and I grab the other one, roll it to the side, it tightens it down. And then I kind of try to flatten it out. Um, and I put some uh, um, weather strip adhesive on here first. So let me go and do that. And then I'll come back and show you how to finish. Okay. So I'm starting to get them in there. You can see right there, I popped them through and then I grabbed them with the pliers and turned them over. And then down here, I got to do this one. It helps to leave them a little bit long because they keep wanting to pop out. But I'm just going to pull that short side out first as much as I can, bend it over, then get the long one. Same thing there. I had a little trouble with the one on the end. I'm going to try to get that one in there. The ends are the pretty important side because that's where it wants to peel up. But, uh, and I got the weather strip adhesive. So we want to get those staples pulled down nice and tight so that glues. All right, more to come. All right, so here's one of the staples going through. Come on, focus. See, I got it pushing through. It helps if you have them bent at the right uh, space between the legs. Otherwise, they get hung up going through there, and it helps to have them pre-push through the the trim but we're just gonna give it a twist pull it down get this side same thing give it a twist there then I'm gonna have to clean those up after and tuck them underneath the there's like a lip under there. You can tuck them under there. But yeah, you come back over here. Look at that. They almost look factory. It's pretty good. And then if you look at the, look at it from the top, not bad. I mean, that came out way better than I would have thought. Even down here where the, where the hump is, it's a little tiny bit off. That's pretty good. Just gotta polish that up a little bit. And we got a new, not new, but I was able to salvage this. I, I think they still make these, but I don't think I need it. This is supposed to be missing. This is where the vent window uh, seal goes. So I was thinking this was ripped before, but it's not. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. I might put a couple clamps on here to help hold down the weather strip adhesive while it dries, but yeah. Oh, and here's the front of it. There, not bad. I got the emblem on. Oh, the emblems. Uh, those had um, 
So originally there were three prongs that came through and um, you had these pieces that snapped onto the end of it. Well, the emblem prongs don't go through far enough. They don't reach. Uh, and then on one of them, the prongs were actually broken off. Uh, that was this one. So I was trying to figure out what to do. And I ended up trying to drill holes, see if I can tap in through this way. But uh, what was easier was to pry the emblem off, drill through the metal, put some screws on. Uh, this one holds it down and this one locates it because uh, these were the three original holes. And on the other door, uh, it still had the prongs and I used one screw because the three prongs were there to locate it uh, the correct orientation. And uh, I just epoxied the logo back onto the metal piece here. And I polished up that trim. And then those lines that you see there, I'm not worried about because that's where the door uh, handle goes. It goes over there. Um, power window switch back on. Pulls for the vent window and uh, the mirror adjust. So yeah, it's looking good. More to come when it's finished. Take care.